Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over in our test account. The patch is up, which means we have our new Greyborn hero. Want to go ahead and run through the skills and abilities, see exactly what he's about. Now, of course, he is released with the patch a little bit early, so it's going to be interesting to see exactly what we have going on. So looking at this hero, very cool build. I like how he... Um, how he looks visually and it's cool. He is a support hero, continuous damage as we see right here. And then he is also an agility hero. So pretty interesting again with the combination. Um, Looks almost like a rogue, a very small kind of built thief. So it is rando. Let's run through these skills and see exactly what we're gonna be getting with this hero. So he summons a soul serpent that remains stationary but attacks enemies within melee range. That is gonna be very interesting itself. Um, depending where that sits with the maximum of three existing at the same time. So the soul serpent is going to be stuck in the ground. Reminds me kind of um, what we see with Tarnos. Soul serpent summons are bound to the allied hero with the highest initial attack rating, inheriting 75% of that ally's attributes and attacking the current target. So it's not taking his ability. It is the allied hero with the highest attack rating. So again, pretty interesting with the design here. The higher the damage dealt by the ally bound by the soul serpent in the past six seconds, the greater the soul serpent attack power and frequency with each attack dealing up to 600% of Randall's attack rating. Soul serpents can survive up to 12 seconds after Randall's death if they are bound to an ally that is still alive. So again, that's a pretty interesting design. If there are no enemies within melee range, the soul serpent unlocks ranged attacks, but power is reduced by 33%. Soul Serpent inherits 100% attributes from the Bound Ally. Pretty interesting because if you're running this hero with Awakened Heroes, um, and the Awakened Hero is built out very, very high, that could be pretty interesting with the damage that th this hero could actually see. Go Reaper is the second ability. There's a passive part of this. Whenever a character dies, Rando collects the Riven Soul, increasing damage dealt by both himself and the Soul Serpents by 6%. Again, in really buffing up the Soul Serpent while reducing damage taken by 6% can stack up to eight times. Wow, that is a lot for a damage reduction right there. Instantly teleports to an enemy dealing damage for 400% of his attack rating and forcibly collecting a Riven Soul a prioritizing summoned enemies. So there we go, another hero that prioritizes and deals additional damage to those summoned enemies. Damage dealt summon enemies and collected are both increased by 300% and be used repeatedly on the same target. Wow, that is kind of crazy. So uh, Randall's attack in defense by 6% can be stacked up to eight times. Each time a Riven Soul is collected, the attack defense of the Soul Serpent permanently increased by 6%, stacking eight times. Wow, then it goes to 8% can stack eight times. That is a massive, massive buffer in there. The Soul Surge is the third ability. Uh, unleashes the Soul Stored in the Soul Urn, spreading them across the battlefield, dealing damage to all enemies. So this is going to hit everybody with this one. Dealing damage to all enemies equal to 300% of Randall's attack rating and healing Soul Serpents for 20% of the max health. So healing the Soul Serpents, which means that I believe they can be attacked and killed, if the attack hits the summoned enemy, the skill damage and healing are increased by 120%. So again, the summoned enemies are going to be um, just absolutely decimated by this hero. Once used, the soul serpents will reappear in an optimal position. Then it goes to 330 and 30%, 360, 40%. When used, soul serpents go into a frenzy for six seconds, gaining 40 points of haste and physical pierce you're going to have a massive buff to how fast they're being casted and how much damage they are putting out right here. Soul Shroud. So he enters a covert state from no less than six seconds, increasing dodge and magical suppression and causing enemies not to prioritize him in most attacks, keeping him alive. That is a good thing in here. While in the state, he recovers, 300, uh, recovers health for 300% of his attack rating each second until it surpasses 70%. Of the max health during this period randall receives 80 percent of the health and re and energy recovery rate of teammates so that is going to buff up that energy recovery rate with him with these facts apply to allies bound to soul serpents does not take effect when randall himself is the soul serpents partner 
Again, pretty interesting dodge going up right here with that magical suppression. While in the covert state, he recovers 330% of the attack rating, so it surpasses 90%. So he can have a 90% heal rate there. While in the covert state, Rando recovers 80 energy per second, capped at 480 energy. When the number of soul serpents in battle reaches the limit, Rando will gradually transfer his energy to allies bound to soul serpents. So his energy is going to go to the strongest ally that the soul serpents are bound to. Again, that's going to be kind of an energy battery, but that is the 60 engraving on there. Let's look at these signature items. So this is the soul urn that Dolly was talking about. Soul Surge also restores 360% of the attack rating to allies. Wow. Reduces damage and health loss recovered by allies by 20%. Then it goes to 30%. Soul Surge enchants, uh, enhances damage dealt by allies and health loss by 30%. Soul Surge also increases allies' magical pierce and physical pierce by 35 points for... So there is going to be another buff. They're going to take more magic damage. They're going to take more physical damage. Very, very cool to see with this hero. He's going to be probably another must-have. I'm, I'm assuming looking at all the skills and abilities. Each Soul Serpent attack steals 50 energy. So there's an energy reduction. Waken version of Shamira, um, Lady Simona... A couple other heroes are absolutely going to love this to decimate the energy regeneration and the energy that we have. Heroes transfers it to the ally it's bound to. Again, if the Soul Serpents are bound to someone like the Awakened version of Shamir that benefits from the energy reduction, she's going to be fed energy, which again is kind of crazy. Each time Rando collects Riven Souls, allied heroes gain the same attribute bonus from Death Call as the Soul Serpents. Nine of nine on here, going to be an absolute priority. Let's see what this hero, and it's going to be interesting to see where he puts these souls up. I'm assuming it's a him. It might not be. So again, he's kind of like a rogue and going front line. So he is going right into the enemy side. Where, oh, there's the urns, or there's the, the soul serpents. Look at those. That is very, very cool looking. So he has three snakes that are up. Yeah, but he, agility with the, um, he is going right into the enemy side. So you're going to have to specifically have heroes that are going right into that enemy side. Um, that way he doesn't just get wrecked over there. Let's see what it looks like. So what do we got? There we go. They gave us some up. Uh, Pretty good heroes. Let's put Bronn in here. Again, thinking full Greyborn. Look, they gave us Daemon. They gave us Thorin. Um, let's go crowd control for L. Coming right out. Where is his... Oh, they already killed everybody. Like, where? where is he at? So, 3.1... So he out damaged Bronn and the awakened version of Shamira with that. Now I know they went down pretty quick. Let me see if we can get another battle in here. Let me just run like two of them. Because if he's a support hero that is just doing a, a insane amount of damage, that would be pretty interesting to see. It comes out. And of course we have a, a Theo right over here or um, Sia. Yeah, look at him going right to the targets. I don't even think he ulted on that one, though. 7.2, yeah, 4.6 million. And again, those soul serpents are going to um, get a lot of the attributes from that awakened version of Shamira. This hero is going to be a absolute must build. I, I'm looking at it now. Um, I think he's going to be a hero that we absolutely want to build. But all right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.